Hey guys, it is the beginning of the year. Sorry, the dog's coming up. It's the beginning of, hi, hi Freya. So it is the beginning of our springtime. Um, we are like three days past our average, thanks. We are three days past our average last frost and I'm already dealing with a aphid problem. Uh, Freya, okay, I'm done, you're done. Our average last frost date was three days ago. So I'm at one of my roses that I've had in our garden for three years now, and I've tried everything. Um, I bought the um, Insecticidal Super Soap by Bonide. This is their Captain Jacks. I've used this in the past and I've absolutely loved it, but I don't want to let these aphids like really go out of control. We have a problem with aphids on all of our roses every single year, and so I'm gonna just try and stay on top of it from the beginning and hope that I can get their numbers down and not have to worry about it. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna go in with the insecticidal soap and I'm gonna spray. But at first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm going to pinch as many as I can and smush them. Let me show you guys close-ups of this. A lot of people will probably think it's really gross, but it really is going to be the fastest way to stay on top of this because I have two rose bushes that have already like fully leafed out and they are covered in aphids. So let's solve this problem early. So you guys can see right here, there's an aphid and all I'm gonna do is go through and just smush him on the leaf. Um, and then right here, you guys can see a bunch of aphids and all I'm gonna do is go through and smush that in between my fingers to kill as many as I can that way and go up that. What they're doing is they are going to start killing all of the new growth that we have on our rose bush. I really don't want to sacrifice that by letting these guys destroy my garden. So first I'm just going to go through and smush as many of these guys as possible and then I'll go through and I will spray some soap. I did come out here three days ago and I sprayed some insecticidal soap and you can see there are a few dead ants and aphids. Um, and so that did work some, but I still see lots of live aphids everywhere. So I really wanna make sure that these guys just get taken care of and that I don't have to um, deal with this problem. I see this cluster right here. This is going to be a good one to just come through and smush these guys. You can see them trying to run. Sorry to ruin your day, but you're not gonna ruin my garden. Okay, so I'm gonna just finish going through with these guys and try smushing all of them. I really don't want the aphids to take over my garden this year, especially on my roses, because we did just get those David Austin roses planted in the ground and I've found aphids on their buds that have already started to swell this year. So I'm not gonna play around. I'm not even gonna chance it. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to keep these aphids out of my garden this year. This is gross. This is all aphids. Um, there's still a few that are alive that are crawling on me. This really is disgusting. Um, oh, gross. Covered in them. I don't know how this has just like blown out of control in just a few weeks. Um, this is insane. So now that I've gone through and I have squished as many as I think I can find, um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make sure to spray all of the leaves, the top and the bottom, the underside. It's really important when dealing with aphids that you get on the underside of the leaves. It, that's where they're living, that's where their babies are. So you need to make sure to get every little nook and cranny. If I just went in and I sprayed the top like this, it's not gonna do anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab this, bend it down. And spray the underside. This is why it is so important to get the undersides of your leaves. If I had only sprayed this side, you can see there's no aphids on this side of this leaf. They are all on the back of this side. So 
Um, I did already pull this leaf off, but this is just what I've been doing, is just going through and trying to smush as many of these guys as I can. I am gonna try and smush as many of these guys here on this leaf that I did already pull off. This is actually just gonna go into the garbage can. I don't want to <laughs> drop this on the garden or on the ground and have some of these guys pop back up in my garden. So smush this, this colony here, and this is why it is so important that you are checking the undersides of your leaves, not just looking at the front of your leaves. Our insecticidal super soap is sprayed on the bush. Um, it just says that it's going to start killing them in minutes. Um, I think that the aphids that we have here are made out of steel. I don't know, but they're so resistant to so much different stuff. So I'm going to try it this year again. I've had okay luck with it before, but I'm also going to stay on top of smushing them with my fingers. Um, if that does gross you out, you can always wear gloves and then smush them. It is going to be the most efficient way to take care of your aphid problem in your garden. So if you guys have any questions, this is what I'm doing this year to stay on top of my aphid problem. I really don't want it to take over the entire garden like it has in previous years. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for visiting our garden and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. So I was sitting outside editing this video and I was trying to film a little bit of like the, um, like when my logo pops up or whatever it is and I just try and like pop a little extra footage up on the screen and I thought that I would show you guys the birds but one of them has been sitting in her nest the last three days like non-stop and I looked inside the nest and saw this these little baby eggs and so that is super exciting we haven't had these finches for very long and the fact that we have eggs in their nest is super exciting so i will keep you guys updated on if they hatch and if we end up having little babies because that would be so exciting that'd be so cute um yeah okay bye that's it